This week at KubeCon, huge announcement from Nginx is the launch of the Nginx Gateway Fabric. Sailor, you are one of the software engineers yes. um, behind, so you own this entire thing. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, actually, that's you're the perfect person to uh, maybe give us a little bit of a rundown of uh, what it is. You've got your laptop talk out there, so you can actually show us like what it looks like, hey? Sure. Yeah, so with the Gateway API, one of the goals um, that I wanted to start out talking about is that the difference in roles of uh, and the personas involved in in this API. So um, you have you start with the cluster operator. They're the ones deploying the gateway itself. They define the entry points into the cluster, the ports, the protocols, things like that. And then an application developer can focus on developing their application and defining a route into that application. They don't have to worry about the infrastructure at the high level. They just define how they want to get traffic to their route. Um, and that, that structure is kind of shown here. So I'm going to show a quick demo of this. So if we take a look first at the gateway resource that a cluster operator would deploy, I just have a basic one here that defines a listener. And, um, and I have an application running. Let me show that here. It's just called hello. And right now, this is not exposed. I have not yet created a, uh, a route for it. So if I try and visit that website uh, or that application, I'm just getting a 404. Now, the route that I want to create looks something like this. So I expose on this host name um, and have a path. Uh, anything that begins with slash and we're going to forward all of that traffic to the Hello V1 backend. So I'm going to go ahead and create this resource. And now if we try to hit that backend again, we can see we're now getting a response from our Hello V1 backend. Now this is something you could do with the Ingress API. Where the Gateway API really shines is with features that are built in that the Ingress API didn't have built in. So for example, let's say I want to deploy a version two of my application and I want to slowly roll that out to users using a canary style release. So I have a new HTTP route resource, and if we take a look at the difference here at the bottom, we have weighted distribution between two different backends. Normally this weight would be 99%, 1% to the new one as you slowly roll it out to users. For the sake of the demo, that will be 50%, um, as you can see here in the weight. Um, so let me actually deploy my version two of the application. And then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my HTTP route to this new version of the route. And if we go back and send some more traffic to the site, you can see this time we've hit version 2, and it turns out we have a bug. And if you noticed, it took a little bit longer to actually load this website. So V1 loads nice and fast, and every once in a while we'll hit V2, and there's an issue with it. So we can easily roll that back. Let's just reapply version one of our resource. Let's quickly roll back. Again, all of this straight through the Gateway API. And now we should only get responses from V1. So it makes it really easy for a developer to define a route to, do, to their um, applications natively in the API without anything extra. Nice, man. That's awesome.